Well, how, how is it then for people who live in the city? Presumably, people who live in the city would find it very difficult with all the stimuli around us. They do find it very difficult. Do you think, but is it possible to meditate for people living I in the city? I think it's possible to meditate, but because even in the city, you can't find quiet spots or quiet times of day. Mm. If you're living uh, as most people do live, you know, at home, and with a family, well then you have to choose the quietest part of the, the house you know, for your daily meditation practice and just ask you know, everybody else in the house to respect that and be, be a bit quiet mm -hmm. during the half hour or one hour that you are meditating. Mm. And uh, perhaps you can choose a time when uh, the, the sound of, of traffic outside is rather less than at other times. Don't try to meditate during the rush hour. Mm -hmm. One needs to be aware of those sort of conditions and uh, organize one's practice of meditation accordingly. And also one can, even if one's leading a relatively ordinary life, one can still go away on retreat for a weekend or even for the whole week from time to time, uh, go away to a retreat center in the country and meditate under relatively ideal circumstances. And that will give one's meditation a boost and you'll go back, you know, to your meditation in the city with a fresh charge of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it isn't impossible to practice meditation, even living in the city. Mm. But one needs to be sensible about it and practical. I was thinking that even uh, yeah. having got yourself a quiet spot yeah. in the city, um, our minds are continually being affected by the, our environment. Yeah. So even having found a quiet spot, we've then got quite a scattered mind because of the fact that we live in the city. Would that be the case? I think very often that is the case, but also I think one has got to bear in mind throughout the day that at a certain point one is going to be meditating and make sure that um, in the course of the hour or so immediately preceding the meditation you're not doing anything which is violently opposed to the spirit of the meditation. Mm -hmm. Just try, if you possibly can, to be a little quiet or a little collected or a little more mindful than usual, I mean, during the hour or two just prior to the meditation. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people prefer to meditate in the morning, uh, after you know, getting up and having a wash when they feel relatively fresh and relatively undisturbed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than tired and worried, perhaps, at the very end of the day. Not that it's impossible to meditate at the end of the day, because if you can finish work reasonably early, you can give yourself an hour or so of relaxation and then meditate. Mm -hmm.